Hey guys, it's Anna Dolosky. Who knew that if you looked hard enough, you could find a sinister side to even the most popular miracle superfood? Yep, someone did it. Someone reigned on the golden child of Miracle Foods Parade, and even we don't know what to make of it. But we're gonna milk it for the duration of this video. It was only a matter of time before quinoa went from superfood to super scary. Fans of quinoa claim that eating the grain helps lower cholesterol, prevent heart disease, and prevent certain forms of cancer. But then, in the same breath, a quick Google search will lead you to a number of warnings about saponins, chemical compounds naturally found in quinoa. Some claim that saponins are toxic because they irritate the intestinal lining and can cause stomach inflammation, among many other troubles. Could it be the poster child of miracle foods is actually bad for us? Saponins are compounds present in a lot of other foods, including beans, oats, garlic, leeks, spinach. Plants even produce saponins to ward off pests because of the chemical's bitter nature. Because of this, they're also used in some biopesticide products. What? Saponins are found in food and pesticides? No, you're not eating a pesticide. What scientists have done is isolate saponins to amplify their impact as a natural pesticide. Some research suggests that saponins could pose some health risk if they were to be administered through an IV. And if you're even considering consuming quinoa through an IV, we'd have to seriously question your sanity. But scientists agree saponins do not pose a threat to our health. The compounds, in fact, aren't readily absorbed through the intestines into the bloodstream, but rather they're excreted as waste. So while there is no actual evidence that support quinoa is a miracle food with miracle health benefits, there's also no evidence to support that it's harmful to your health. Okay, who knew that we'd come to the rescue of a miracle superfood? <laughs> The truth is, here at the Council, we're dedicated to debunking junk news, so if that means defending quinoa, so be it. If you see something, say something, right? To see more stories like this, like us on Facebook, visit our website, acsh.org. Don't forget to subscribe while you're there. For the Council, I'm Anna Dolosky.